going everyone. In this video, you're going to learn about my religions and what they had to do with me falling in love with coding. Now, my name is Menhard Borna Norbert and I come from Romania. If you would ask your fellow Romanian friend if he knows Menhard Borna Norbert, then the first thing that he would say is that that name is not a Romanian name. And he would be right, because my name is actually a Hungarian name. And also my religion is a Hungarian religion, which is the Reformation religion, aka the Protestant, wait a second, Protestant Reformation or European Reformation religion. So yeah, but I was born and raised in Romania. And the typical Romanian religion is actually the Orthodox religion which is also the dominating religion in Romania. And needless to say, I'm quite acquainted with that religion because my parents came from both different religions. Now, you can imagine then in my upcoming, as in my childhood, I was dragged between these two religions and with them came different traditions. But please don't get me wrong, this video is not about religions. And it's also not a comparison between these two religions. Also, they both have beautiful ceremonial traditions. Even more so, since I left Romania and I traveled the world a bit, I came to learn about multiple religions and also came in contact with them like the, like the Catholic religion, the Muslim religion and also the Hindu religion, which I came to learn that is one of the most oldest religions in the world. So as I said in my upcoming, I was a bit dragged between these two religions, but things got worse after my parents divorced. Well, holidays weren't the greatest thing in the world, as you can imagine. But Eastern was different. Now, Eastern takes place on different dates for these two religions. Basically, the reformative religion comes before the orthodox religion. And they are roughly one week apart or something like that. Now, the details on this, you can look up on your own if you're so inclined, but just know they happen on different dates. And they're basically the same. They're basically the same traditions. Now, this means that I had to spend one <laughs> Eastern with with one side of the family and repeat the same e the same Eastern with the other part of the family. So basically I was helping with painting eggs, uh, cooking, you know, as a small child, you helped around the house a lot. So you also visit, uh, dressed up nice and then visit the, fam visit the family members. So everything happened in the family. But then one week later, I had to go through the exact same emotions once again. Now you can imagine that it didn't take too long before I started rebelling against this craziness and I, at that time I just couldn't understand why I couldn't the whole family be together as one and just celebrate Easter and all of the holidays actually. So I decided in my rebellion to just stay on my PC for both Easterns and ignore the whole family. Because video games played a large part in my upbringing, I mostly spent my time playing video games on all of the holidays. So that was kind of my drug of choice, you can see. But somewhere down the line, it didn't take too long for me to want more of, out of that experience. And I started creating my own maps in video games. If you ever played Starcraft or Warcraft, you, you know, you had your map editor. Of Dota, for example, you had your map editor, which later on let me lose myself in the process of creating video games. And of course, deeming that all religious holidays were a waste of time for me. But as I got older, people whose presence I didn't appreciate as long as they were around me and alive were, staying, were starting to die away with absolutely no possibility to ever spend time with them again. And now starting my own family with one child here and another one on the way, I kind of started to see things from a different perspective. So Eastern, like most of the holidays, started to have, for me at least, a different meaning, a completely different meaning. And the meaning is family. And family means that I will dedicate my entire attention solely on the needs of those who I love. This is the most fulfilling feeling I had for a really long time. And this means that I will take a break from what I love doing, which is coding, for those who I am doing it for, which is for my family, actually. I uh, hope this makes sense to you all. In other words, this means that I will take a leave of two weeks and let you with my JavaScript series. So with this being said, I wish you all happy holidays and a wonderful time with your family. Take care. Bye-bye.